Hello everyone, we discussed about enharmonic oscillators in PH103 class. In this video, I am repeating some of these discussion for the benefit of the class. I expect the students enrolled in PH103 to go through the video carefully and post me any queries they have at the email address given at the end of the video. A typical example of an enharmonic oscillator is a simple pendulum where the angle of oscillation is not small enough such that sine theta equals to theta is not a very good approximation anymore. In such a situation, let us consider the next higher order term in the expansion of sine theta which is minus theta cubed by 6 such that the differential equation from the system theta double dot plus omega zero square sine theta equals to zero goes over to a form where we have a term which is proportional to theta and a term which is proportional to theta cubed by six. Here please note that omega zero square is equal to g by l where g is the acceleration due to gravity which is acting downwards and l is the length of the pendulum. Assume an approximate solution theta equals to theta 0 sin omega t plus epsilon theta 0 sin 3 omega t. Here we are using the method of NSATS which is a method which involves a wise guess. So why do we use a 3 omega t term here within the sign? So note that we have a theta cube term out there in the differential equation. That means we need to account for a sine cube omega t term. Now as we know sine cube omega t is 3 by 4 sine omega t minus 1 by 4 sine 3 omega t. So in order to account for the sine 3 omega t term we need to have the sine 3 omega t within the ansatz as shown here. Let us see what the choice leads us to. So if we do the second derivative of theta from the ansatz solution, we find the following term. Similarly, if we look at the theta cube into minus of omega square by 6 part, the following expansion is obtained. Note that we have terminated the expansion up to order epsilon. That is, we are discarding terms which are of the order epsilon square and beyond. So once we collect all the terms corresponding to theta double dot, theta cube term and the theta term, we can now look at coefficients of sine omega t term. In order for the differential equation to be satisfied, that is left hand side is same as right hand side which is 0, we must have the coefficient of sine omega t term adding up to 0. So up to the order we have expanded, we find the following expression for omega square in terms of omega 0 square and theta 0 square which leads us to omega 0 square 1 minus theta 0 square by 8 as the value for omega square and that in turn leads us to a value of omega which is omega 0 1 minus theta 0 square by 16. Similarly if we collect coefficients of the term sine 3 omega t up to order theta square we get the following expression. Now this in turn implies epsilon is theta 0 square by 192. Note that up to order theta 0 square omega square equals omega 0 square. Thus we have obtained all the unknowns in the ansatz. That is we have now an expression of omega in terms of omega 0 and we also have an estimation of epsilon. Suppose we take length of the pendulum to be 1 meter. That leads us to an omega 0 value of about 3.13 and that in turn leads us 
to a value of omega of about 3.11 if we consider theta 0 to be 0.3 radians. Following a simple calculation, we can show that epsilon now turns out to be 0 0.00047. With these expressions, if we try to plot the expression for the resulting solution, we get the following. In red and blue, we plot the expressions for the solution which we have obtained which is theta is theta 0 sin omega t plus epsilon theta 0 sin 3 omega t and the solution to the corresponding harmonic oscillator case that is when theta can be considered to be really small. We find that the difference appears to be negligible however on a zoomed in scale where the x-axis is in radians we find that there are minor differences. I hope you have understood the discussion on anharmonic oscillators. If you have any further queries, please contact me at the following email address. Thank you.